Well, today is May the 17th. Day has finally arrived to put up the ham radio antenna. So we got the pieces of the tower here on the third floor. And it looks like it's going to be a beautiful hot day today in Chapala, Mexico. A good day for tower work. So it's about 10 o'clock in the morning and they just got here and got the supplies up on the third level here to begin work. So I thought I would kind of document this as the work goes along. La vamos a levantar y nomás no te bajes porque si no se nos grana, eh. Se va a ir levantando pero no te quite, le pones los pies arriba. Well, that's the first section. Okay, we got three guy wires here. One there. One over there. One over here.
I guess they're putting the tension on the guy lines and got to level on the tower to make sure they got it level. Still tensioning the guy cables. They're going around to each cable and they put a put the level on each corner of the tower and they tighten it until they get the level even. So doing it in a very scientific way here. Pretty amazing. Put a grease there so that the pieces of the tower will slide on together as they're supposed to. And I guess it also stops any corrosion through those holes where the bolts bolt through. Okay, he's he climbing the tower now. Got the gen pole. Okay, they're getting ready to hoist the third section of the tower. And I got the gin pole in place. Tying a rope around the tower section there. Okay, I think they're getting ready to go up with it here. Just a minute. Okay, here we go. Okay, he's gonna place it on. There it goes down. Third section. That thing's gonna be on up there. You gotta bolt it down now. Okay, he's moving that gen pole on up to the next section so that he can put the final section of the tower up on it. I am telling you one thing, I would never be able to do that kind of work, not at my age. Wouldn't want to. Too scary for me and dangerous. There goes the gin pole.
Okay, they're getting ready to hoist that final section of the tower up. harness broke he would be gone and I would be sued probably God I hope it doesn't happen <laughs> don't even think about that Okay, here it goes. Final section. Okay, he's got the final section on there. Got to bolt it down now. Things way on up in the air there, buddy. It's a good 30 feet above the 30 foot top of the house. So that's about over 60 feet high right there. Well, the antenna came in two boxes. Look at all those parts. I would never be able to figure all that out myself. My goodness. What a job putting that thing together. Man, I probably would figure it out, but I wouldn't do it as professionally as they're doing it. Okay, I'm down here on the ground, and I thought I would get a shot. They're putting the second set of guided cables, guide wire cables, on. And the engineers upstairs assembling the Yagi antenna. So, that's a little too high for me to want to climb up. Well, I can't see. He's up there putting the thrust bearing and everything on. That's what the rotator will sit on. He's, looks like he's got the rotator up there. And we got two sets of guide cables to hold it. Making good progress. Okay, we got the thrust bearing and the tail, tail twister rotator installed up there. And we got the pole all the way to the top that the Yagi will be attached to. So they are making good progress up there. That tail twister is a powerful rotator. Way on up there. Okay. The Mosley Classic 33 Tri Band Yagi with the warp bands, a total of five bands, has been installed on top of the tower now. Just got it installed, got it put together and put it up there and 
now they're finishing the choke ballon uh, winding the coax and they're going to route the coax down to the station so all in one day they have made great progress that's a big antenna the longest elements over 30 feet long well about 30 feet I think maybe 28 I'll have to check the specification but it's close to 30 feet big thing up there and scary that thing ever came down we'd have a tremendous uh, hole in the concrete 